Hey guys, so I just did a video about the new IKEA Huss uh, USB-C chargers and um, as I said, they're probably really good cheap chargers. This, on the other hand, is another cheap charger that isn't really good because it uh, failed. I actually don't know, I don't even know who's the maker um, of this device, but anyhow, um, I thought uh, this is probably a, a good... Um, a good opportunity to take it apart, um, see what failed inside of it, and um, maybe get an idea if the IKEA is actually any better. So um, let's see, this is probably ultrasonically welded also. Um, since it's failed, we don't need to be very gentle, so I'll probably just stick it in the vise and um, see what happens. All right. Oh, there we go, that was easy actually. I think that uh, that's all we need. Yeah, that I think is really all we need. So it didn't, didn't really take uh, all that much to open up. Um, ooh, well, we definitely had some um, some fireworks going on in here. What just happened? You see that? So that's actually some very catastrophic um, destruction. Okay, so a few moments later, and after some uh, sawing and prying and swearing and everything else, um, we got it open. Um, a few considerations about the um, enclosure. It's actually pretty good. Um, there is lots of support on the sides as well. The plug sits in its own compartment, so it would stay right here with the wires going in. And the wires, I think, are also silicone, which is good. And uh, the ultrasonic welding was uh, more than good enough because I actually had to uh, saw it here to get it open. So that's certainly a positive. Okay, so it actually took me a little bit to understand the circuit, but um, this is actually the separation between the primary and the secondary. I thought it was this line here for whatever reason, but it's actually this one and it's much larger and probably far more acceptable. Um, I actually didn't notice that here there was a optocoupler. So this is basically the secondary and uh, this is the main switching transformer. So all the... Uh, suit blackness explosion and everything happens be happened because um this part of the pcb just uh yeah it's no longer with us uh just turned into vapor um it's basically it's it's sputtering and this goes to the main switching transistor which is completely shorted so what i would have expected was uh, these two resistors to just go open without destroying um, the entire PCB. This, this resistor here, it's cracked, but it's probably cracked because I when I tried to pull it out with the pliers, so um, maybe that was still good. So um, the first failure mode is that uh, these resistors are not, are not adequate or they, they just did nothing to prevent um, the PCB, the, the copper layer, from turning into vapor, which it's actually uh, not, not a good thing. So th those are, should be here for protection. So this went short and uh, this went short because the secondary is shorted. So I checked the secondary capacitor, which is right here and uh, it's showing a full short. I actually don't know if the problem is on um, the capacitor or like some of these ceramics that sometimes due to manufacturing defects and such, um, they, go sh they, they do go short or if it's on the um, USB-C controller board. And I actually have to say that the soldering on this is not really the best. That's uh, here there is not enough, here there is too much. It's not really all that great, but um, interesting failure mode. Um, it, it, it is something that happens, but the way that uh, uh, it panned out uh, wasn't really a good success. If you're designing this kind of product, you need to have the proper resistors that do go open in case the main switching transistor goes short. And uh, 
the other thing is that on the secondary you need to have some sort of protection so um, maybe this this short here happened because I was pulling too much current for example um, I don't know um, of course here I, I was measuring it uh, um, all good because um, the, the traces have burned here so everything before the uh, switching transformer just measures fine because the short just uh, cleared itself at some point so um and also the, the fuse did blow but uh i guess it wasn't fast enough because again this this takes a fairly large amount of current to go um and do this kind of damage did uh, just a few me more measurements and this is actually a rectifier most likely and it's gone shorted so it's just uh short circuited so that was basically the windings straight into the um output here which is not good so um cut off uh, one of the windings short here is gone so this means that uh, this component here what whatever it is um it's it that's what caused it uh, i don't know if it's a manufacturing defect or if it's uh, under spec for the current that we're pulling but um this is what failed and set off everything else with that, I think the investigation is over. Um, yeah, failed. Thanks again for watching and uh, see you next time.